These are five unexpected signs that your manifestation is on its way. Look out for these signs and have the confidence that when you see them, that your manifestations are very, very near. Now going into this video after my cat's just suddenly got off of my lap, uh, with manifesting, we can sometimes get frustrated with the process. If we don't see the results that we think we should when we say our affirmations, when we do a meditation or visualization techniques, and no matter how much we feel that we're putting ourselves into the feeling that our manifestation is already real, we still have a tendency to look out for our manifestation, to see when it's happening and when it's coming. And if we don't get any obvious signs, we can get frustrated, we can doubt that it's working, or we can think that we're not doing it right. When in actual fact, as soon as we start putting the signals out to manifest a particular goal, that is heard and understood by the law of attraction, by the law of assumption, the universe, whatever it is that you wish to call it. And we are manifesting all of the time. And quite often we are being shown that the mechanics are already starting to move, that the cogs are starting to move as the manifestation process is being made by the universe, because we meet the universe halfway. We put the signal out and the universe responds by making it happen for us. And this process does have some signs and messages that we can be provided with to indicate our manifestation is on its way. But if we don't recognize the signs or don't know what to look out for, then we can miss them. And we can think we're not doing it right and the manifestation process doesn't work. So these are five signs that you can look out for should you see them that indicates that your manifestation is actually very near. Or you want to improve your relationship or manifest your soul partner and you end up having an argument with your current partner, or you have an argument with a friend, or something happens that seems to be the opposite, a first glance, of what it is that you want to manifest. First of all, this is incredibly common. It's very common that when we decide we want to make a change and create something new, it seems that the opposite happens first. It's almost like something needs to be taken out of our lives first, to make room for the new thing that we want to create. Think of things in your life a bit like a jigsaw. We have energy, we have frequency, and we are projecting all these different frequencies out to the environment around us. And these frequencies are based on the beliefs that we have from the experiences that we've had. And everything that we have in our life, on some form, or some level, has been created by us or accepted as truth by us in our reality. So if you are carrying any beliefs that are rooted in lack or fear, then a lot of the relationships or the circumstances or the jobs that we experience will be linked to those patterns because whatever those beliefs are, if we take that on as truth and we project that out to the universe, of course, experiences that match that frequency and vibration are gonna come back to us. When we start declaring positive, empowering affirmations on what any subject, what we want to manifest, whatever it is, in this case, we've used the example of money, when we start declaring our ownership of our own power, when we start declaring what it is that we want in an empowered sense, we shift our own personal frequency and energy. And there is only so much energy we can project out. So as we begin to take on a new belief, let's say I have an abundance of money, or I am loving, I am good enough, I have perfect health, I have a perfect relationship, I have a better job, we start to let go of the old beliefs, the old limiting beliefs that we had, because we don't want them anymore. We want to let that energy go, we want to let that pattern of behavior go and replace it with something more empowering and positive. So consequently, as we shift our feeling states and our energy, we're also going to see a shift in our current physical reality. So when we start declaring a change, an empowering change, we might see some things in our life fall away first because we are taking out the old bit of the jigsaw and putting in the new. Taking out the old belief, putting in the new. Removing the old energy, putting in the new energy. And that is how we are going through a process of changing our circumstances and our lives. So when you first start declaring that you have the money, the perfect relationship or whatever it is that you want and you have some form of loss of some sort, don't panic. Don't go into fear, frustration or worry. Know that this is a good sign. Choose to take a positive spin on this and choose to recognize that, okay, something is moving. Something has been called into action and it's too much of a coincidence that it is linked with the very thing that I'm wanting to create more of. So know that the unexpected loss or signs is one of your first indications that the cogs are moving, the universe is responding. 
just keep going and then keep empowering yourself with your positive affirmations. And the link into the second sign is synchronicities. So you may already notice some coincidences or synchronicities surrounding the circumstances of what you want to change, whether you get more or less of it. That does tie into the fact that you will start to see in general more synchronicities relating to what it is that you're wanting to manifest. Some examples of this would be if you wanted to buy a new car or you were thinking about buying a particular car, you might start noticing and seeing more of that particular car around you or it might start turning up in unusual places, or places that are so unusual, places where maybe you would not normally go to, and that exact car and that exact color that you want is just sitting right there. Or if you want to go for a job, you might want, you're looking to get a job promotion or a new type of job, and you find that someone you know has that exact job that you want, or someone that you are aware of has just had that pay rise or had that promotion that you're looking for, but it hasn't happened to you. Then of course, you, there could be circumstances where you bump into the right person who may know someone that you know, or who may link you to the next step of where you want to go for your manifestation to happen. This is one of the most common things that people, that's where the term coincidence has come from. It's synchronistic events because when the universe is putting things in place, it's going to start moving things and people into the right position for you. So when you start seeing signs that are, oh, that's very strange that I'm seeing this or I'm hearing that, then know that it is obviously known, your request is known, your intention is known, and again, like I said before, with the unexpected loss of moving of objects or whatever, it means that things are moving into place. So take these as positive signs that you're now getting the synchronicities, you are now in conscious control of your manifestations and of your life and the universe is responding. So all you need to do is keep empowering yourself, keep going and having faith that things are working out and if they continue to go in that same way by you maintaining your current vibration, then eventually when the time is right, because there is divine timing, that all the pieces of the jigsaw will fall into place and your manifestation will be for you very, very quickly. Number three is repeating numbers. Now, you may have come across this before. It's very, very common to hear people talking about numbers. You can get things like 111, 222, 333, or 444. Any number that you seem to see on a regular basis in the most unusual places. It's very common to see the same repeating numbers on number plates, on doors, on receipts, on documents, or if you keep checking the time and it's always 44 minutes past the hour. I know with me, I see 44 and 444 a lot. And there's been many a times when in one particular day, when I've randomly looked at the clock, it's always been the 44th minute past the hour. And there was one time when I did it for eight hours straight and I was not consciously doing it. It would just randomly, I'll look at the clock randomly or the time would just flash up before me and it was always 44th minute past the hour. Now this isn't a numbers video. So I don't have the definitions of what each number means, but each number means something. And the fact that you are seeing a repeating number means that you are in sync and in alignment with something. So you just need to investigate what that number means and how it resonates for your particular manifestation. But the fact that you've seen a huge increase in the amount of times that you're seeing a particular number sequence, it means something is understood. And know that the universe communicates to us through numbers and visual aids. So take note of this when you see your numbers and interpret what you feel it means for you. And know that this is another sign that the universe is responding to your manifestation request. The fourth one is unexpected contact or odd requests. And by this I mean you can be in contact with somebody that you have not seen or spoken to for a long time who just suddenly messages you out of the blue. Or you might be linked to a particular person or situation that's completely random, but it might lead you to the exact point of contact that you need, whether it's the right person, the right job, the right circumstance, a signpost that's leading you closer to where your manifestation resides. Back to the analogy, like I said, think of things as a jigsaw moving pieces. So the universe is moving us around, you could say, into, it's figuring out the logistics of how your manifestation can happen because we are the creators of our life, but we do half the work, the universe does the rest. Because you don't need to think about how am I going to make something appear out of the quantum field 
or anything in depth like that. All you need to do is shift your personal vibration to be a frequency match as much as you possibly can. And when you are a frequency match to what it is that you want, that has to be reflected back to you. And then the universe does the remaining 50% and that does the, by the universal law, the mechanical stuff to make things come out of the quantum field. So trust that when unexpected contacts happen, or if you're led into the right direction by a completely random event, know that's part of the universe taking care of the details as to how and when your manifestation is going to happen and it's formulating the right circumstances for you. And the fifth sign is animals. Yes, animals hold a very important meaning for many different things, depending on the animal, there is a different significant meaning that each animal represents. For example, if you keep seeing something like a butterfly, butterfly is a something of... Re For example, if you see something like a butterfly a lot of the time, that's a very positive sign because butterflies mean transformation. When you think that a butterfly goes through its journey of being a caterpillar into the cocoon and then transforms itself, spreads its wings and it's this beautiful butterfly, it's a big representation of the transformation that we may be going through in our lives. You may start seeing birds around a lot more. You may start seeing things like feathers, which is a very common one. And all these are wonderfully positive indications that not only is your manifestation on its way, but that spirit is supporting you and is with you. Each animal, as I said, holds a different meaning. So again, this is not an animal meaning video but what you can notice is if you start seeing regular animals in particular unusual places, or if an animal, whether it's out when you're driving or out for a walk, suddenly appears in front of you and it's a close encounter, it is worth investigating what that means, because that is a perfect example of a communication being made to you. These signs are always around you. We just don't always pay attention to them, or we just don't always see them. But the more open that we are, for the universe to communicate to us, the easier it is for the universe to find ways to spread its message. And one of the biggest things that I have learned is just because we might not have received a message in the way that we think and expect, it doesn't mean we're not receiving any messages at all. Often, what we expect to happen doesn't always happen in the way that we think it would. It usually is better, but it's the universe that knows what's for our highest and best, and that is how it is presented to us. But if you'd like to find out how the universe also tests you before your manifestation appears, check out this video up here and I'll go through all the process of how the universe makes sure that you're ready to receive your manifestation and I hope this will offer you some great benefit. Love and light.